The Instructional Academic Program is a life-changing opportunity for students in Polk County and certainly changed the life of this year's guest speaker who knew what he wanted to do for a living after seeing just one Shark Zone broadcast as a sixth grader at Lake Gibson Middle School. In 2006, he was honored as ITV County Student of the Year. In 2010, he graduated from Southeastern University with a dual degree in Broadcasting and Film Studies and in 2018 earned his MFA in Digital Cinema Production. This year's guest speaker has experienced ITV from every angle, first as a student, then as an ITV employee and workshop instructor, and most recently as the founder and advisor of Kathleen High School's Ignition TV from 2010 to 2019. He now serves as the broadcast producer for the city of Lakeland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Andrew Gash. Now that's cool. It's magnetic. And I know that every teacher in the room now wants to know where they can get one because that's what we do. We covet technology, right? We see it and go, ITV, can we have 10 of these? It, you can admit it. It's okay. All right. Anyway, it really is an honor to be here tonight and to be able to speak with you and to give the speech that allows those of you who are a little bit late or who have to use the bathroom time to do that without feeling so bad. You know, in 2019, the ITV crew called me up and they said, Andrew, would you be the guest speaker at next year's awards? And I said, yes, what an honor. And then 2020 happened and we all know what happened. We weren't able to be here. And they called me, they said, would, would you mind if we can be together next year being the guest speaker at the 2021 Video Awards? I said, yes, absolutely, I'd love to. We all know what happened last year. So I've had three years to come up with this speech. <laughs> and in the last three years, I've been thinking to myself, what is that one topic that everyone in the room can relate to? every student, every teacher can relate to. What's the one thing that would really make an impact? And I realized this is what would make an impact. Talking about procrastination. Am I right, teachers? See, this is the one thing. So I wanted to give you a speech tonight about procrastination. Unfortunately, I didn't get that done in time, so I'm gonna talk about something else. But seriously, isn't it wonderful to be back together again? It's the 30th annual Polk County Video Awards. This is a celebration that means so much. I've got so many memories of being in this sanctuary. Over the past two years, we haven't been able to be here together to celebrate all of this. So first, tonight, I would like for you to join me in thanking the ITV crew for continuing to celebrate student success over the past two years in the midst of a pandemic by creating a virtual show in 2020 and 2021. Thank you, ITV. <laughs> Second, there are students, and some of you are here tonight, who haven't had the opportunity over the past two years to stand on this stage and accept your award publicly, and this is a big deal. Now, I know the virtual awards are cool, but I wish we could just redo the last two years and give all of you the chance to do that. And even though we don't have the time for that tonight, if you individually or your school won a best award and should have been on this stage giving a speech in 2020 or 2021, would you please stand right now and let us at least congratulate you here tonight in public? Wow, look at that. Congratulations, y'all. I know it's a big deal. I wish you could, you could do this. It, 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 this is so much fun. There's a lot I could say tonight. The ITV guys know that. They gave me a time limit. I'm going to go over it. First, I'd like to acknowledge the teachers in the room and just say this. I'm here tonight because I had a great teacher. I do this every time I get a chance to talk. Wendy Setterberg from Lake Ipsen Middle School. <laughs> changed the life of a scared little sixth grader who looked up in the corner of the classroom and saw oh, the shark zone. And I just had to be a part of it. Teachers, you are changing lives every day. The effect you have is far greater than you will ever know. 
Thank you, teachers. <laughs> Students, would you please give a big round of applause to the parents and family in the room tonight? <laughs> ITV is why I got up and went to school. I don't know about you. Is that, I mean, it's why my students got up and came to school. And parents in the room, just like you, my parents knew that. They knew how important this program was to me. They saw what it was teaching me, the skills that I was learning, the doors it would open. So parents, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for supporting your kids, for supporting their teachers and supporting their team. Administrators, school board members, county leadership, your being here tonight to support these students and teachers is incredibly important and so appreciated. This program does change lives. It's one of the most special, unique, life-changing programs ever to be created. What you have here cannot be qualified or quantified with a rubric or an exam or a certification. It's a lot more than that. It prepares students for life. Not just a career in media, communicating ideas, designing products, working in a team, presenting information, making deadlines sometimes. These are skills that are going to translate no matter where you go. So, leadership in the room, I want to encourage you to do everything you can possibly do to support the ITV crew that puts all this together, the incredible teachers who are in the classroom every day, and everything this program can do in order that it stays alive for generations to come. Now, as you heard in the introduction, ITV has been a big part of my life. The moments that I've spent on this stage as a student and as a teacher are still some of the most incredible moments in my memory. And tonight, in this unique moment that I have with you, I want to talk to you about one of the lessons I've learned in my ITV experience. And it has to do with your future. Your future. Now, I'm not talking about years from now or when you graduate or even next month or, or next week. I want to talk to you about tomorrow morning. Because tonight's a big night. Now, when Steve Martin, some of you know who Steve Martin is. He's a comedian, singer, songwriter. He does a bunch of fun stuff. Actor, right? When he opened up the 75th Annual Academy Awards, he said something at the end of his opening monologue right before they opened up the first envelope. He said, there are no losers here tonight, but we're going to change all that. <laughs> and everyone laughed because they realized, as big as the night was, you know, some people win, some people don't. And as much as this night is about a celebration of all the hard work and talent that's gone into creating the videos that are going to be on display this evening, some of you are going to walk away with a trophy and some of you aren't. I competed in six ITV awards as a student. I oversaw my students as they competed in another nine. That's 15 evenings of sitting where you're sitting right now, anxiously awaiting for the envelopes to be opened and hoping that they would call either my name or the school's name. And you know, there were a good number of nights when we won a couple things, but it was nothing like we wanted it to be. We wanted to win it all, right? I mean, everybody's like, yes, call our name all the time. I'd wake up the next morning and think, oh, well, I guess the work's not over yet. How are we going to top that? How are we going to get better than that? What are we going to do? Now, there were two nights that I still remember very well. The first was when I was a student. It was my last video award ceremony as a student. It was 2006. I was a senior in high school. And remarkably, as they said in the introduction, I was chosen as one of the ITV Polk County Students of the Year. It was a big honor. That part of the competition doesn't really exist anymore, but it was a huge deal. There was a few fun prizes and a really big trophy. Now, 2015 was the other night as a teacher now, and our school had been edging closer every year to winning that coveted best in show. And we got so close in 2014 and then 2015 and the end of the night and they open the envelope and they go, oh, and they call our name, finally. We were shocked, we were thankful, we were ecstatic. And once again, big trophy. Now, why am I telling you this? Here's why. Because in both of those circumstances, the next morning, I woke up and thought, oh my, how are we going to top this? 
what are we going to do now? There's more work to be done. As a high school student, I remembered, oh, graduation is around the corner. I got college coming up. The essays have to still be written. I got exams to study for. And as cool as my student of the year trophy was, I couldn't take it along with me in order to turn it in as a substitute for my homework assignment. I couldn't give it to somebody in, in a job interview. Look, I couldn't give it to my college admissions representative and say, hey, can, do you mind if I get into your, to your college now? As a teacher, that best in show trophy was pretty cool, but you know, that trophy did not help teach my students any lessons. It didn't grade any of my papers. I couldn't even send it in my place to a parent conference or to a professional development session. I mean, come on now, what's the, what's the point? So tonight and tomorrow morning, I want you to remember this. Every day is a new opportunity to be successful. I want you to repeat that after me so I'm, or with me, so I'm gonna say it again. Every day is a new opportunity to be successful. Now let's say it together. Every day is a new opportunity to be successful. If tonight doesn't go the way you want it to go, tomorrow morning is just around the corner. It's a new opportunity to be successful. Start again, make something new, improve on what you've learned this year. And don't tell me it's the lack of equipment or something like that or support holding you back. Look, y'all, Lake Gibson High School, I was a student there. We had a closet, not a studio, a closet. Our green screen was more gray than green. We had a few cameras that worked. And if you found a microphone that actually recorded audio, you would hide it from everyone else because so, that was yours. Oh, this one works. Creativity is the key to success in this competition, not equipment. Now look, tonight may go your way. You could win everything. This might be the best night of your life so far. You could walk away with every trophy. But tomorrow morning is just around the corner. And every day is a new opportunity to be successful. You can't achieve tomorrow's success today. Now, sure, you can get ready for it. You can prepare. Tonight is, after all, a result of all the hard work you've done to get ready for this moment. But what are you doing now to get ready for next year's video awards? After all, as soon as you enter this year's, you can start working on next year's. You see, I've seen too many examples of students trying to ride on the back of the previous class's success. Never works out very well. So whether or not you're a winner tonight, start again tomorrow morning. Take advantage of the opportunity that you're given each and every day to be successful in whatever you're aiming to achieve. And listen, this is not just a statement about the video awards competition. This applies to every area of your life. Whether it's a class you're trying to pass, a relationship you're trying to establish or mend, teachers, maybe a professional goal you're trying to reach, students in your future, maybe it's a job you're trying to get, a promotion you want to earn, or even a habit you're trying to break. Whatever the case may be, every day is a new opportunity to be successful. And I wish you all the very best of success tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gash, for your dedication to video production and the students of Polk County Schools.